The price out here on 10 Tampa Bay, July 3rd, the last time we had a name storm out in the Atlantic Basin. You're probably saying that's a long time to not have a name storm. In fact, one of the longest stretches to not have a name storm. Uh, we've gone 55 days without a name storm. That includes today. Uh, but you go back to 1999, there was 61 days in between two name storms. The last one was on June 18th, and then the next one developed on August 18th. But we're actually in the the longest stretch that this late into the hurricane season. So you got to start asking, like, at, at what point do we start to see some activity? A couple of tropical waves that at least bear watching. There's a fair amount of dry air out there that's really keeping these tropical waves from developing. So that's, I think, overall uh, going to be the trend for probably at least the next week or so, though it looks like things begin to change maybe toward the end of next week. In the meantime, uh, the areas of development are those areas lined in the, the yellow hash marks. That's where we could see the, both of these systems develop into a tropical depression or a tropical storm within the next five days. But at this point, ladies, only about a 20% chance that we see that happen.